The good old note card method is your key to avoiding plagiarism. It's been around forever, and uh, you're going to be using this method for a long time because it works well, and it's a good way to organize your thoughts. So this is how it works. For this uh, project, you're going to go and have to make a minimum, and I use that word, I'm going to emphasize that word minimum, of five different note cards. You have five different sources, uh, so you're going to have five note cards. Now, what you do is on the first side of the note card, the, the blank side, doesn't really matter, uh, see right here, this is, you just write your MLA citation out. You write it out just like you would write it for your works cited page. So you write it out, and that's your source, one of your sources, whether it's a book, a non-print encyclopedia. Then what you do is on the other side of the card, you're going to go and write information. So you're going to go, and maybe we're going to write um, information that is a direct quote, like I have right here. Or you're going to go, um, and what you do is you write, like, if it's a certain page in a book, you would write that, because you're going to later on have to cite where you got that information specifically. So I would do that. Then this info up here, battles fought for land, money, pride, or whatever, this is what we call paraphrase information. <coughs> Excuse me. So the idea behind this is you're going to get out your book or your website, you're going to crack it open or look at the page, and then you're going to put it into your own words, what we call paraphrasing, on the back of the note card. Don't look at the source. Literally, like, read the sentence, then shut the book, or, you know, turn the computer the other way, then write it to your own words, and then use it on the back of the note card. Then, when you go and you create your outline, what you're going to do from there is you're going to go and use that information to create your outline, and then you use your outline to create your uh, paper. So essentially what that does is it keeps a couple different levels of what we would basically call separation between you and the original text. And what that does, it avoids, it avoids plagiarism because if you've truly put this into your words and you've shuffled around the words a few different times, you're going to go and you're, you're putting it into your own words, your own ninth grade words, you don't have a PhD in history, that goes and avoids the, the problem of plagiarism. And I don't want you to unintentionally be plagiarizing stuff for this paper you need four to six direct quotes. So get some direct quotes as well. Like I said, that's a minimum. You might find yourself making a bunch of these different cards. If, you, uh, if you're getting involved in that, that's, that's cool. And you're just going to have more information. The more information that you have to pull from, the more you can go and help create your outline.